Hi, I'm Lulu. Welcome to Lulu's Way. I'm getting ready to leave for Florida. I leave tomorrow morning. And what I do the day before I leave is I get my Berkey all ready to go. So what happens is when the Berkey sits for a long period of time and doesn't get used, the filters inside get dry. Um, so if I just filled it up with water right now, because the filters are dry um, and they're not really absorbent, because uh, they're very hard, like they're not absorbent so the water won't go through them. In order for the water to go through them, you have to prime it. So I'm going to show you what priming looks like. So what I need to do is I need to take this top piece off, bring it upstairs to the sink. Okay. Let's go. All right, so um, this, this, this right here is just a piece of um, the seat belt, the seat belts that I cut out, cut out when I took my passenger seat out. This is just a piece of the seat belt. And what I do is this is just alien taped on and I have this here so that it goes like this and then the cover goes on, the top goes on and it doesn't rattle when I drive. So it's, that's what that's for. That's what I put that on there for. All right, so then this is what it looks like inside. Here's the two the two black filters, and there's a little bit of water inside from, from the last time I used it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these off. We just unscrew the bottom. And then here's this, these wash, these big, thick rubber washer. I'm going to take these off because I'm going to, I'm going to clean them and I'm going to prime them. see how they get they get a little gunky see the gunk right here it's just it's just water just the minerals and the deposits that are in water um I just want to get that cleaned off so i'm going to get the inside of this cleaned out just give it a little scrub with some dishwashing soap Nice and clean. Okay, so now we're not going to use any soap on here. Nothing goes on here except for water. Um, so I have this little scrubby, this little green scrubby that I use exclusively for cleaning this. Once I clean it, it's just with water. When this dries, I put this back in, save it for the next time. So I'm just going to use in the middle kind of lukewarm water I'm going to give these a scrub And I'm going to clean up these washes too because they just get a little slimy, you know, from standing water. Okay, so we're all clean. This is my, this is a, a second Berkey. So this is the Berkey for my house. 
then I just keep one in my van because I love me some Berkey. So what I'm going to do now is um, in order for water to penetrate this, because it's hard, in order for water to penetrate it, uh, it needs to be soaked through. The only way for it to get soaked through is if it gets forced in. So if I just put water like this, it's not forcing it in. So it needs to be forced through here. So the way that you, you, the way that you force water in is through this little hole that's in the bottom of the screw here and forcing water in there. So it forces it in and, and then it forces it through the filter. And you can see that it's working because all the outside of this gets beaded with water. So the way to force it through, it comes with this little rubber, this little rubber circle thing. Okay. So you put this on top of the screw like this and it gives you a place for the faucet to sit. So I'm going to put the water on about this, about like that. Not too much or it will just squirt everywhere. Like that. Just to, yep, there, I had it on too high. So what it is, is it's not, go, it's not going through with full force, but it's going to, it's going to fill up. The cylinder of it is going to fill up and it's going to be, it's going to keep filling because I have it blocked by this, by the, by the top here. So it's coming out, it's coming out. It's sometimes if you move, it gets a little squirt on the side. It's a little messy. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to say for, it, t it feels like a very, very, very long time because, um, feels like a very long time because you're just sitting here staring at it. Um, but I'm going to say a good two to three minutes, two to three full minutes. I can already see it beating on the, on the, on the thing. So it's going inside the, the cylinder inside. It's filled up. It's filled up all the way and it's blocked by me holding the faucet here. And so it keeps giving it more water. So it's just going to, it's going to start penetrating through here. Then you put them in the Berkey and then it's all primed, which means it's all soaking wet through. So now when water comes on the outside of it, it's already all full of water. So it just brings that water in. And that's all that the priming is. Now, when I get home from uh, Florida, I'll have to prime these. Um, so, you know, I'm going to say two to three, maybe three days. If I didn't put water in it for like three days, like if I was away for like three or four days, it would need to be primed. But a couple of days, it doesn't, it doesn't need to be primed. And you can't really shortcut this because I've done that before. I'm like, oh, I've been here long enough. I think it's, I think it's saturated enough. And then I fill it up and it's just, it will, it will just come through really slow. Like I don't want, I don't want my uh, water to filter really slow. Like usually when the top is filled for it to go down to the bottom, it's about an hour. But if the, these aren't primed really good and really soaked, soaked right through, um, you know, it could take like a half a day for it to come through. It ends up coming through. Now these filters, um, are, are replacement filters are about $135 for the pair, but they last for 6,000 gallons. So if you want to get out your calculator, you can think, okay, 6,000 gallons. If I use a gallon a day, I probably use a little more than a gallon a day. Maybe sometimes a little less. I don't know. I use it for everything. I drink it. I cook cook with it. Um, I make my dandy blend with it. And, you know, I make my rice with it, everything. Um, I'm going to say 6,000 gallons. That would be 365 gallons a year. Divided 6,000 divided by 365. Maybe they need to be replaced every 10 years, maybe. Do the math. Not very often.
I'm going to save it, but this one might be good. So what I do is I get the, the rubber washer that's going to go against the, the stainless steel. Then I'm going to get this nut. Nice and snug, nice and snug. There we go. Then I'm going to do it to the second one. I got this the rubber one. I'm going to put it right here. So see, right now it's filling up, so it's not squirting. But once it gets full. It needs a place to go, and it needs to come out the pores of the filter. You can see it's starting to oops, you can see it's starting to come up, come through the filter a little bit. It, you can see it like in beads. So what I'll do is I'll fill this up today and tomorrow all the water will be at the bottom, um, which is perfect. Um, I usually, when it gets low and it needs to be filled, I usually wait until I'm pulled over for a while because I don't want the top filled up while, and then I start driving because it, it will just spill out the, out the cover here because it's not an airtight cover. Once the water starts sloshing, it will slosh right right through the cover. So if it sloshes down here, it's all it's all kind of locked in with this piece. So I um I usually will when I know I'm going to be pulled over for a while, that's when I'll I'll fill because then I know it will be down here within the hour. And as long as you, as long as you're using it every day, like this, I primed this when I got back from Arizona, it doesn't need to be primed again until it dries up, which it has not dried up since I got home because I use it all the time and I fill it all the time. So it's always, uh, it's always ready for the next batch of water. Um, so, you know, if you had one of these on your kitchen counter and you didn't travel and you were home all the time. You would prime this once when you bought it, and then you wouldn't prime it again. It wouldn't need to be primed again. I'm going to go over with that right now. Okay, so I'm going to put the, put the washer on. Run through this hole, turn that on. There we go. There we 
go. Two primed filters, Berkey filters. I'm going to let this dry and I'll use that the next time I need to prime. I'll put it in that little baggie. Let's go fill her up. Come on. All right, so here we go. We're going to put this right here. And let's see here. Whoop. This whole this whole setup is kind of new with these bungees and this this greenery. We're still trying to navigate this. So this is going to be snugged on. Okay. And we'll put our little greenery on it. So now I'm just getting this greenery back in. And now we'll be good to go. There we go. Whoops, that doesn't look good. It has to go like this. So I think we're all set with that. So now I'm going to get some water. Uh, I keep these jugs right over here. And this is just uh, this is just tap water that's in here. And when I empty these, I just fill them back up. So this is a gallon. I'm going to throw the gallon in. So that's how far a gallon fills it. It doesn't fill it all the way to the top, but a gallon is a good, good amount right there. And then this little flap right here just keeps, keeps that from jingling. And I am good to go. Okay, this is gonna, let me listen. I can hear it dripping already, so it's dripping. Now I'll fill this up before I go, before I leave the house, because I take the, the uh, maximum water storage. So what I have for water storage is I have these bags right here. One. Two. And three. These are called platypus. Platypus bags. And uh, there's a link for these in the description. They're just very convenient, you know, because they uh, they can just squish down into places. So right in here, if you look right in there by the wheel well, I have all this spare room down in here. So I just stack them right in here. One. Two. Three. Each of those, each of those are, I think they're two liters each. And then these over here, I found a spot for these right here behind the refrigerator. I have this little spot right here where two gallons fit in, in the, in the, uh, it's the uh, refrigerator still gets the airflow, still can get the airflow back there, which is perfect. So this can help, help, I can take another two gallons, which is great. But I'm going to fill this up, up in the sink upstairs, bring this back down. So when I leave the house, I'm going to leave with the Berkey filled with filtered water. And I'm going to have these two gallons and those six liters of water. And then, um, and then as they get low, I fill them up. Those ones there I take in a, in a restroom, a uh, ladies' room, fill it up right at the sink. If I'm at someone's house or if I'm at the beach, there's always like a, a water spigot somewhere, like a outdoor shower, fill them up an outdoor shower or at the sinks. Or, um, yeah. So that's the story on the water. Um, I love the Berkey. I just love it. Um, I have confidence in it. I don't know the science behind it. All I know is that 
I put the water in there and, uh, you know, any water filtration system has claims of what they, what, what, what it filters and how it does. And it's all stuff that's just over my head. I just like the Berkey. I like that it's stainless steel. I like that it works on gravity and it doesn't take any power. I love that the, the filters last a long time. Uh, it's, it is an initial investment, but if you're, if you're paying for these, if you're getting these every, every time you need water, um, trust me <laughs> in a year, if you were buying one of these a day, if you needed a gallon of water a day on the road in a year, you'd pay for your Berkey. So, and it's just, it's very, very convenient and you're not using all this plastic and I just, I love it. I love that it's stainless steel. It feels very clean. And um, I just, it's my choice of water filtration and it's my choice of how I want to do water on the road. It's very, very important to me. So that's what I got on this topic. Oh, and we're going to hit the road tomorrow morning. Bye for now.